Hello, good evening. Welcome to our training uh, tonight. Uh, welcome, everybody. I see we have a lot of people logging in today on this special day, especially in the United States, of course. And I'm here from Germany. I have our founder joining us from Switzerland um, in uh, a few minutes from here who is going to host the training tonight. Um, and I hope you guys have a lot of questions. I have already listed a lot of questions um, from you the last days. So we have a lot to go through. So I hope you're going to be really attentive because I understand um, for the first, you know, first time viewers or first time um, people who are into crypto, it can be a little bit uh, difficult to understand. So be patient. Maybe you guys who are already more advanced is already too, it's, it's you know, nothing really new. So, so just be patient. We're going to go over things. We're going to go over how to set up a wallet, etc., etc. So um, I'm going to, to pass the control in a bit to our founder, but I know we have still a lot of people logging in here. I see we have uh, Nigeria. Hello, Amaka. That's wonderful. Um, we have people in the UK, a lot of people from the UK uh, and Ireland, I believe, um, and uh, from Germany. Hi, Stefan. Uh, Italy. Um, we have uh, actually quite a few people here from Italy on the call and the United States, of course. Hello to everybody. I even think from Israel. So welcome to all on you uh, to this call and we're going to record that and again we do a Q&A um, so um, if, if you have nothing have something not clear please just type in um, the questions and we're going to go through that. So with that and um, hello Bill welcome to um, this of course training which you're going to give us so uh, we are going to get educated on uh, this new crypto module. Well, hi, Claudia. Good evening to you and a warm welcome to everyone joining us in many parts of the world. And, um, of course, best of luck to many people in the U.S. It's a bit, as you said, it's a big day for them and also the whole world actually affects everyone. But anyway, we're going to uh, get started. And I just want to add something. Uh, because I do not want to say n hello to my, fr I mean, I want to say hello to my friends from Scotland. So Scotland, we don't forget you. Scotland, hello to you. Okay, great, Claudia. So welcome to everyone joining us from different parts of the world. Okay, let's get into it. Swiss Gold Global 2.0, Gold Silver Crypto Exchange. Now, the last, it's been launched now. What's today? It's Tuesday, so it's it's uh, it's been now. Um, I think it's five days, four or five days. Uh, we are not where we actually want to be. The challenge uh, with lots of these different exchanges is is that we we have been approved um, before we actually went live. But of course, then the compliance teams of these different exchanges in the background want to actually see the the site live. So we're waiting for the compliance team to come back to us from different authorities to say, yes, it's right to go. It will be right to go, but it's going to happen in their time, not so much in our, in, in our time. The great news is is that now you can actually buy the Bitcoin mining packages. Um, and I'm going to move through some different things and show you how we actually you can set that up. Um, and also, uh, just go through the packages again for people here for the very first time. What are the packages that we actually offer you? And what, is the, what, what is the estimated rate of return? And most importantly, if you have questions, you can be very direct, put the questions here, and, and uh, hopefully Claudia will be able to see the questions at the end of this particular presentation. Uh, I'm sure she's going to hit on me to actually respond to them, so I'll do my best to actually uh, get all of these uh, answers actually to you. Now, for many people on the call for the very first time, uh, we always get a bit of feedback, and not feedback questions, of course, um, who is Swiss Gold Global? And I'm not changing my slides right here. What am I doing? What is Cisco Global and what what is your history? So, I'm flicking from page to page here. Um, so let me just give you a little bit of a history. Okay, my uh, I'm Australian, been living in Europe for the last uh, 12, uh, 13 years, uh, nearly 10 years in, in Frankfurt, Germany, and two years in Zurich, uh, Switzerland. And I've been a self-employed entrepreneur since 1986, owned four hotels in Melbourne, Australia, from that time to 2005, and in 2008, I founded a Swiss company, which I still own and operate today. So when you go to um, 
In fact, there's still some pages to be loaded onto the new Swiss Gold Global 2.0. One of them is a company page. You'll see two companies there. You'll see the Swiss company, which was actually founded in 2008 to provide gold and silver precious metal services to people and members around the world. We deal with the refiner Argo Horais in Switzerland. And maybe I know Claudia has bought one of our new um, gold, 99 24 karat gold hearts. I mean, she might show that to you a little bit later on. We also have a Dubai company, as you can see here. I'm a licensed precious metal trader in Dubai. We do quite a bit of banking there as well. So that gives you a little bit of history of what we are. But we believed in this changing world in the 21st century, engaging gold and silver, which has been a store of value for many thousands of years, with cryptographic currencies such as Bitcoin and the old coins, alternative coins, is really going to be very, very important uh, in this these coming years. So that's really why we wanted to actually get you engaged. So how do you get started with Swiss Gold Global into the mining? Well, you can get started on a free account, but before I go and go through the different packages, let me just open up some browsers. I'm going to take you to the live site and show you how to set up your uh, Bitcoin actually mining uh, in one sense. If I haven't been logged out with the cookies. And this is also another question um, that we also get. Uh, people say they're getting logged out. Well, it's a bit like a bank. Our security levels have to be exceptionally high because basically we're a gold and silver uh, banking operation and now we have cryptocurrency there. So our security levels have to be very, very, very high. So and it's a little bit frustrating at times. I find that myself, you turn your back, you're doing something else, you come back and all of a sudden you're being pushed out of the, uh, out of the particular site because you're being timed out from the cookies. This, this is a security setting that we need to have, uh, especially dealing with precious metals and the, the cryptocurrency. So, and sometimes you'll find uh, when that happens, it can corrupt the system. You may have to clear your cache or your history uh, to restart. But here we are uh, on a test site actually. And when you log into your back office, you will see that you have not just your precious metal modules and your Real Wealth Revolution programs, you're also going to have my crypto module. Now the crypto module won't really show you much initially. Now this is also going to be changing as our different exchange functions and payment means are getting approved over the next, I believe, seven to ten days. A lot of this is going to actually change. But this, this is what we have at the moment, so you can actually get started in the crypto world. But the first thing you need to do, of course, is to actually have a Bitcoin wallet. We need to pay your daily earnings from Bitcoin mining into a wallet. So if you already have a Bitcoin wallet key, you would just go here, of course, and actually would just, of course, enter the particular details of your wallet and confirm that. Now, if you don't have a Bitcoin wallet, we need to generate one. Now, at the moment, this shows you the site bitaddress.org. Now, there's many places where you can actually generate a Bitcoin wallet address. Now, one of the ones that we're recommending, because we're actually, in the, at the moment, uh, integrating with them also, is called Zappo. It's X-A-P-O, Zappo. Now, Zappo is a prepaid card uh, that's connected to your Bitcoin wallet. So you can actually go to Zappo, and I actually encourage you to probably get your wallet from there. You can go, because you'll open up an account, and I think having, when you're generating Bitcoins, and you can use your Zappo uh, prepaid card to pay for your goods and services, going out for dinner, going to the movies, whatever it might be, paying for the fuel for your car, it's a pretty cool thing to actually do. So. That's one place where you can actually get a Bitcoin wallet. But at the moment, we're showing you just as an example, Bitcoin address. So you go there, it opens up another browser. And when I first looked at this, I thought this is pretty confusing, a little bit hazy. You can see a calculator here, 7%, 9%. You've got to move your mouse around like this, just like a little child is drawing, scribbling. And what you're doing is you're generating your key and it's up to 74, 78%. You've got to wait for it to be 100%. You've got to keep moving your mouse. It just waits 100%. So just wait now while it generates the particular key. And you have two keys here. You have the key that your public key which you're going to share. That's the public key you're going to share that you're going to be putting uh, in your wallet address. And then you have your secret key here that you will keep for yourself. Let me just double click on that. I'll copy that, of course. 
Now let me go back to here. I need to go back here, of course, now and put the keyword in here. And then put the... Uh, no, no. Accept the terms. I should read the terms and conditions. I'm not going to now. But I'm just going to uh, insert this. And it's been um, updated as we speak now. Okay. So bingo. Now you now have your crypto wallet, which is fantastic. Now the other thing, one point I did miss out before you even put your, your crypto wallet key in, you need to be KYC approved. It's just the way international banking is today. Um, because we deal with international banking, because we're dealing with gold and silver, uh, we need to be KYC approved, which is primarily your uh, ID, government issued ID, and the form A signed by you. Now we do not have to report being a offshore company in Switzerland and also in Dubai, in the UAE, we do not have to report to other countries uh, or governments, uh, for example, unless I suppose there was a criminal investigation, but since 2008 we have not been requested to actually do that. We have had banks occasionally say, okay, we see a transaction from Africa, we see a transaction from here, um, do you know who this is? Because sometimes the amounts of money are quite substantial and we need to be able to have proof of KYC. This is just the standard uh, international anti-money laundering uh, regulations. So that's one thing that you will have to do. But once you're in the door to my crypto module, in, it says here, for example, oh, let me go back to the dashboard. Now the dashboard again, this is just phase one. And what you see here, uh, for you, what, like it was for me, it can be a little bit confusing. Don't be too phased by this. The new, the new dashboard which is coming out once the exchanges are approved, is going to be able to show you, of course, um, your daily payouts. It's going to show you graphs. It's going to be much more informative than what it is now. We're just waiting for these exchanges to be actually finally approved by compliance, and we believe in the next five to six, seven days, this will all be um, this will all be out uh, for you. So we really do appreciate your patience and your understanding. Um, this here regarding the Bitcoin hash rate, you can get into a lot of talk about this. Uh, this varies, of course. Um, on any, any particular given day. The difficulty rate is always changing. Okay? And of course down here you have the um, you have the hash rate power, collective hash rate power generated as well um, on a global a global network. But again, uh, for people here for the first time on cryptocurrency, there's no point in going into that right now. In the end you want to know how much hash power you, you've got, how much purchase, how much uh, hash power you've actually got, what it's going to generate you on a daily basis and what your rate of return. Uh, on your package. I think they're pretty key uh, factors to actually have. That's what I would like to know. Uh, that's what I do know uh, when I'm buying these types of packages. So if you go to transaction history, of course if you don't have any, you haven't bought any crypto as yet, now when you come into the system, when you buy a package you're automatically getting, as part of your new package, you're getting some crypto mining. And I'll touch on the packages shortly. But if you've been with us for some time and you do not have any crypto, currency mining packages this time, this is where you'd actually buy it. We'd log into your back office, you would set up your wallet, uh, you would then of course go go and uh, you want to increase your hash power. So you it says purchase computation which takes you to this link here actually. Let me just move this slider down here so I can see where I am. So as you can see here it's telling me you have I have no current uh, active contract. So here it's that this is a slider and the slider is a variable how much hash power do you want? This is the, the this is two terahash, two hundred which is the equivalent of two hundred giga hash. That's purchase value three hundred dollars. The smallest one um, is thirty. Uh, where are we? Uh, is actually two, where am I? Two. And that's a value of thirty dollars. Okay, right up to now this here can be a little bit confusing for people. You see it's at $2,700 for this mining pack for this particular mining package. And just to give you a bit of an idea, 13 to 14 terahash is going to generate on a gross terms before overheads and expenses of these mining companies, probably around about $10 a day. $10 a day is like $3,000, nearly $3,700 a year. So, you know, it's pretty significant sort of return. That's the gross return, but of course half of that will go payment for the electricity, the mining farms, and those types of things. So you might pick up fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars, seventeen hundred dollars in a year, but that's still very significant return considering the package only cost two thousand 
dollars, and those estimates are based uh, on, on a Bitcoin price of around about uh, 700. But I'll just I'll share that with you as well, where you can actually do your own research on that. But as you can see here, the current uh, computation power is that it's um, there's 14. It's at 2,700 dollars. But when you get to the top package, you see it discounts for people who are buying. We've had people buy this, of course. Congratulations to you. When you buy the 15 tera hash, which is 15,000 giga hash, it's confusing this, you get a discount rate and it's 1,950 instead of around about 2,300 or $2,400. Um, uh, you can pay this now through credit card. Now, credit card uh, was not working for this. It is now. It's functioning. It's really important also because we're an international company based in Switzerland. If you're in the United States, some other parts of the world, Australia, etc., quite often, uh, depending on the bank you're with, depending on the type of card that you have, prepaid cards especially have this issue, whether the Visa or MasterCard, they're not authorized for international transactions. So it's really important that you would notify your uh, bank and that you're going to be doing uh, international transactions because otherwise you're going to get this funny error code uh, that it's not valid for this type of purchase. And that's primarily telling you that the card is only been authorized for probably national uh, transactions, not so much for international transactions. So that's a slider where you can select how much giga hash power that you actually uh, want. You've got your transaction history here. And the dashboard, just on the dashboard, as I said to you, at the moment, it's not really telling you a lot of information. Uh, but in the coming days, this will transform and it'll actually, depending upon the, the rate of hash power that you purchase, that will be reflected on your dashboard to show you, of course, what your daily uh, payout return is, etc. So it's very, very easy to understand. So uh, again, I, under I understand uh, and I respect, uh, I'm sorry, I want to thank you for your understanding of patience while we get these final, final stages of this development to actually deploy. But it's functioning. You can buy hash power now. You can start mining Bitcoin. And that Bitcoin will be paid uh, into your Bitcoin wallet uh, that you've actually, the address that you actually entered in when you set up this particular um, account. Now, how do you calculate, of course, depending on your mining power, how do you calculate what your estimated rate of return is? Let's just go to the big one first. Let's just go to 15,000 giga hash or 15 tera hash. And do I have it on this address? No, I don't. I'm going to have to go to the other browser. Excuse me for a second. I think it's here. Yes, it is. We go to the other browser. This is just one calculator. Again, I encourage you to do your own research, independent research. It's really important. But here's one website that we can use, and that's, uh, as you can see, the, the browser here. You can screenshot that if you like. And here, when you load the page, let me just refresh it in case the, the um, prices have changed. It's going to give you, it's already going to give you the, the difficulty factor. You saw that on the graph that we showed you before, but it already calculates that algorithm in there. Um, primarily as more mining uh, comes in, more miners go to mine for Bitcoin to solve the algorithm, uh, of course, it gets more difficult. Uh, and, uh, and I'll put in here the hash, ra hash rate of 15,000 giga hash. Now, if you want to change the language to terahash, that would not be 15,000, that would become 15 terahash, which is equivalent to 15,000 gigahash. Uh, exchange rate, Bitcoin price that is, uh, gives you the block, what block number that actually was. It's based on the block of 12, uh, uh, of 12.5, and this changes every, every few years. We calculate that, and you can see here, it's estimating per day, you're gonna earn about you know, $10.50 per day. Now again, I take out about 50% of that because obviously the mine, we supply the mining contracts from a mining farm provider, Genesis Mining, the world's largest mining farm, probably the oldest as well, great people. They have operational costs, they have administration costs, they have large warehousing, we've got thousands of computers, they've got electricity, they've got cooling, all these types of things. So that's about 50%, just like any business of course. They have operational costs. So you take out, let's just say it's 50%, let's say you end up for $5 a day. Well, $5 a day, multiply that by 365 uh, days of the year. Let's say you're up to $1,600, $1, $1,600 per year. You can start to think about, okay, what's my, what's my rate of return? Well, if this package costs you $1,950 and you're picking up $1,600 in your first year, 
your rate of return is pretty significant. It's going to look very, very good year two, year three, year four, because these contracts of Bitcoin mining do not have a maturity date. They do not expire. The only time they become void is when it becomes, uh, with, with the mining, with the Bitcoin price was to, let's say, uh, fall significantly, let's say, it could be into the 500s, I believe, for 20 consecutive days where it was costing the mining farms to mine, right, uh, then the contracts will become void. That's in our terms and conditions as well. That's exactly as they have it in their terms and conditions. So that, that is the risk that you actually have. So be, be aware of that. So don't extend the money out that you do not have into these things because the risk, risk associated with this. And on the other side, there's also a great return. So I want to be very transparent about this uh, to you. Now, I'm sure you've got some questions coming in. I think now, Claudia, I'd like to go through some of the actual packages um, for people on the call, and we can come back to those sites uh, in the meantime, if you like, when we get to the end of, of sharing these particular packages. So as I said, if you're here for the very first time and you want to get started, well, you could start with a free account. You would contact the person, introduce you to Swiss Gold Global, go to their website, sign up as a free account. You can buy your gold and silver at a wholesale price. You can take physical delivery of that. This is the interesting thing. We've been in gold and silver for a long time. We're not selling you certificates. We're selling you the real deal, physical deal, certified and produced by a Swiss refiner. You can buy Bitcoin lifetime mining contracts, and you're, you're actually going to get paid daily uh, for this particular mining. And you're also going to receive a Swiss Gold Global 2.0 customer account. And what's in it for the affiliates? Well, if I was a free member and I'd sign up on your particular website, because you introduced me to Swiss Gold Global, first of all, whatever precious metal orders I put in, whether it be gold or silver, and very soon we're going to be adding a platinum as well, which is also a very exciting metal uh, on the investment side, that, that is more so. You're going to pick up 1% of the precious metal order value. Whatever that is I'm ordering, whether it's monthly, daily, uh, whatever, you're going to pick up 1% of the precious metal order value. Now, when it comes to me setting up my Bitcoin mining packages, on a free account this is, you're going to receive whatever package I buy, if I pick up the 15, uh, 15 terahash or the 15,000 gigahash package, you're going to receive 5% of that in gigahash power added to your mining package. So in this case, you would actually get 750 or 7.5 terahash, I think it is, 15, uh, it would be, sorry, 750 gigahash added to your uh, mining package, which is, and that in itself has, has a, I think, a, a value of about $450 in itself, so quite significant. So when you, the more people that you introduce, the more free accounts you actually have, and members, you're not just earning commissions, you're also earning gigahash power, which is going to increase your rate of return on your Bitcoin mining. Let's go now to the affiliate packages. Now, the first affiliate package we have is a monthly package. It's a one-time payment of $249. Then it is $50 per month. Now, that from that, uh, upon joining up from the $249, $50 of that is actually real silver or gold. Now, let me just show you something else uh, on the website here because this is also quite... Uh, can I do it on this page? No, I can't. Just bear with me one moment on the other browser. Here. Let me go... Um, down to uh, the packages. Let me just go to the silver package here. <clears throat> and you're also going to see a slider here as well. So this gives you the total flexibility. So whatever package you come in on the gold and silver now and on the crypto, the gold and silver, you can select whether how much silver you want or how much gold you can actually have. So it's a very, very, very flexible uh, concept uh, as well. Um, which is actually very, very important. I like to do 50-50. Some people like to do the gold-silver ratio, historical gold-silver ratio, which may be 12 to 1, 12 parts silver to 1 part gold, uh, as an example. That's really going to be a personal thing. Let me go back to my PowerPoint here. I'm jumping around here a bit, but I just wanted to share that with you. So in the silver package, you're getting $50. Let's just say you're getting silver, but you could change that to with part gold, etc. You're actually receiving 200 gigahash in Bitcoin mining power. 
Now that will give you a rate of return of approximately 4% on the $50 per month based on a Bitcoin price of $600. So based on a Bitcoin price of $600, what will be generated from that will give you about a 4% return compared to the $50. The 249 is a one-time payment, $50 of that is silver. From the $50 a month, 25% of that is also silver added to your account. And that would be about a 4% return against the $50 uh, dollars per month that you would actually pay. You can sell back the silver or gold at any particular time that you want. There's no sellback fees for our members. You can have storage in Dubai. You can also have storage in Switzerland at the London Bullion Market Storage Facility. We have members who actually personally collect it from there because some countries of the world such as this, let's say Ukraine, we cannot physically ship there so we have people who come and visit us and actually do collect it. Um, and what I really like about this whole concept is even if you didn't sponsor anyone, you're still going to be able to get a paid uh, a rate of return on your packages. But the whole idea is to compound your wealth. So as an affiliate, if you sign up some people, you're going to generate some commissions. Now, if you join me up on the silver package, and I wanted to buy these products and services, you're going to pick up $70 US dollars in commissions. You're also going to receive 50 gigahash added to your already current mining package that you have. And of course, that's going to compound further your mining uh, power, which is going to compound your daily rate of return. The next package, uh, packages I'll speak about is the annual packages. Now, this is a one-time payment of $790 $7, of which $150 of that is either gold or silver. Again, you can select what you want. You can buy the gold and silver at a wholesale price. You're also going to receive 500 gigahash giga in Bitcoin mining power. Now, if you want to work out how much you're going to get paid from 500 gigahash in mining power, well, you'll go to that website that I just showed you. You would type in five giga, 500 gigahash or 5 terahash uh, in mining power. And that's going to give you an estimate of what your daily return is. But based on uh, a Bitcoin price of $600, that's going to give you a rate of return of approximately 5% compared to the total price of $797. Now, you look at what banks are giving you right now, which is less than 1%, that's a pretty significant return. And plus, it's a return including your gold. So nice to get a return in your gold and silver too, isn't it? I like that very, very much. Now, if you're an affiliate, and you actually introduced me to buying a annual package, the 797, where there's no $50 a month included here, you'd actually pick up $145 in commissions. Also receive 100 giga hash in Bitcoin lifetime mining contract, and you also receive any other commissions that I would actually, um, if I purchase any precious metals or further Bitcoin mining packages. The ambassador package, that's a $3,000 package, well, you'd actually receive $800 in gold or silver. $800 of the 3,000 is in physical gold and silver. You receive a Bitcoin mining package of 5,000 gigahash, which is going to give you, based on a Bitcoin price of $600, a rate of return of approximately 25%, a significant return based on this particular Bitcoin price. You're also going to qualify, of course, for the ambassador leadership bonuses. And again, if you didn't sponsor anyone, you're still going to get paid your daily rate of return from your Bitcoin mining. I mean, this is just like printing cash, isn't it? Um, your affiliate payout, if you introduced me to the ambassador program, you'd actually pick up $390 in commissions. $300 of that is fast track and $90 that would come from our Unilevel uh, bonuses. You'd also receive a thousand giga hash in Bitcoin lifetime mining contract that in itself has a value, contract value of $150, uh, which is pretty significant. We like to work with five. If you want to really build some wealth and set yourself into financial independence, team up with five people who get this. We want to build up some uh, gold and silver uh, accumulation, and also be able to generate a good rate of return through the Bitcoin mining packages. Five people is going to generate you some, uh, some good commissions, it's only $2,000 in commissions. The package only costs you $3,000, of which $800 of that is actually physical gold uh, and or silver. So, and this also would generate you another 5,000 giga hash in Bitcoin mining power. So again, the effect would be if you added 5,000 giga hash Bitcoin mining power to already 5,000 giga hash that you have in the ambassador package, what's it going to do, do to this rate of return? 
it gets very, very, very exciting. But again, I repeat myself, this is based on the Bitcoin price of 600 Right now it's over $700 as we speak. The last package that we have for you, the current packages, is the Platinum package. That's $5,000. Now, out of the $5,000, $1,200 of that is physical gold and silver. You get to sell that back the next day. It's your gold and silver. You can get it physically shipped. You're going to receive the top package of 15,000 giga hash that I showed you before uh, on Bitcoin mining. And that's going to give you a rate of return based on the Bitcoin price of $600 of around about 28 to 30 percent. In fact, currently it's going to be more than that because that's based on $600. It's over $700 now. So the rate of returns, I think it's going to be around about 35 percent if you look where the Bitcoin price uh, is right now. And again, if you didn't sponsor anyone, you're still going to be paid these daily rate of return, which is very exciting. Uh, but again, compounding is a key to financial success. So if you signed me up in the Platinum program, you'd earn $590 in commissions. $500 is fast track, which is 10%, $90 is unit level, and you'd also receive a 3,000 giga hash in Bitcoin lifetime mining contract. That is a value of $450. So Sign up one person on the Platinum package, you've actually got a, over $1,000 of real value, which is generating your daily income as well. Uh, work with five people, you've nearly got your money back to $3,000 in commissions. You also have 15, you, you'd also receive another 15,000 giga hash in Bitcoin mining contract. That has a value also of nearly $2,000. So these are very, very powerful programs to help you achieve, you know, financial stability with gold and silver, and also daily cash flow through your commissions and, of course, the Bitcoin mining. Now, on the commissions, of course, there's two ways that you can get earned from the, from the packages. The silver package pays out monthly commissions because it's a $50 a month program, isn't it? So this just gives you an idea what you could earn. If you, if you signed up five people, commissions can be, depending on the package, anywhere from $350 in fast track commissions up to nearly $3,000. Then your monthly residual commissions, this is on the monthly one, at five people, you'd actually just about be break even. You're getting $37.50 back in US dollars, and $13 of that's actually silver into your account. So primarily you break even when you sign up five people. Of course, you want to duplicate that. On your second level, you're making about four times the money uh, and so on. If you signed up and work with annual packages, Again, the fast track commissions with five people anywhere from $350 to $3,000, uh, plus your mining packages, uh, giga hash power, of course, as well. But then there's the commissions that you'd see. These are one-time payments per year, uh, depending on the different levels that you're at, which just gets uh, quite significant, life-changing, actually. Again, this is not a quick rich program. It takes time to build an organization. Time is going to pass anyway, so not, why not work with great people with great purpose, a great vision, to help change each other's lives for a better way of life. Now, when it comes to paying you, I mentioned Zappo before. Uh, this is where you can actually go to generate your Bitcoin wallet address. You can go to Zappo, register there because it's going to have uh, other other benefits as well, other than just a Bitcoin address. You're going to be able, to, if you want, uh, order a prepaid. I think it's a Visa card actually where when you go shopping, buy goods or services, dinner, you can use your Zappo prepaid card and it's going to automatically debit your Bitcoin wallet. Pretty cool. And when you load your card, there's no fees charged actually for that, which is absolutely fantastic. So that, that is a good service. And again, we're approved for this. We're just waiting for compliance for the new website to be approved. Uh, and we believe this should be all integrated within the next five to six to seven work days. So we really appreciate your patience on that. We also have wire transfer, uh, the Bitcoin. The Bitcoin exchange, because we are an exchange, that's all in place. Again, we're waiting for the third party uh, exchanges to finally approve us. And that will also go live in the next seven to ten days where you'll be able to exchange Bitcoin for gold and silver or vice versa. The whole idea is liquidity. You have to be liquid. It's really important. And then we have also having the Payser card. The Payser card, uh, you can register there for free. It's a good account to have. It's in about 160, 170 countries, I believe. You can register for your Payser account where your commissions from your Easy Wallet could be pushed directly into your Payser uh, account. You can use those wallet commissions to pay for products, services, more crypto mining, more gold and silver. Or if you like, I think it's $19 they charge you. 
um, they actually will send you a PASER MasterCard. So you can actually download, transfer directly from your PASER wallet directly to your PASER card, uh, your commissions, because the whole idea is to have a better uh, quality of life. So Swiss Gold Global 2.0 is a cryptocurrency and gold silver exchange. Now, all the functionality is still not there. Okay, you can, you can buy gold and silver. You've been able to do that for many, many years. You can buy now Bitcoin lifetime money contracts. That is available right now. Uh, to, to be able to pay with Bitcoin, that's going to take, as I said, another five to seven work days to actually uh, do that. Now, Claudia, I think I covered a lot of information in that short time, but maybe you've got some, quite a few questions you'd like me to address there. Yes, Bill. As always, I do have a lot of questions, as you know. <laughs> well, first of all, thank you, uh, of course, for giving us a good comprehensive overview again. Um, and we understand a lot of things still have to be put in place. Now, uh, we know we have a lot of requests from Africa. So a lot, a lot, a lot of requests from Africa, Nigeria, Ghana. I mean, a lot. Um, and so we we know what we know for now is um, in Nigeria because I know you folks have also people from Nigeria in Nigeria uh, right now the government has made some changes so they can only like up to two hundred dollars they can only uh, purchase on their credit card um, per day and that means of course if they want to join us uh, well the smallest package is two hundred forty nine to become an affiliate right um, they could pr pr purchase uh, do a free account and do just hash power but if they want to join us that wouldn't be um, uh, possible with the credit card it is limited unless they they have credit cards from outside so they maybe have a US America US account or or, or somewhere else account okay so the next thing is, um, because we also, you saw PayPal there. Well, um, in Nigeria, as well as Ghana, there's no PayPal. So <laughs> PayPal also limits, uh, limits those um, countries. And, and I address that because we do have a lot of requests, like an incredible amount of requests. Uh, so uh, for, for those folks, of course, the best is, um, and Bill, you correct me if I'm wrong, and, and it's also a question, of course. Um, so the best for them, I'd suggest, is uh, that they open a PESA account or they open a XAPO account. They wait a few more days. They can found, fund their XAPO account. Um, and from their XAPO account, they will be able to, to buy in, right? That's a long question, Claudia. Um, yes, yes. It's not just Nigeria. We see we see governments around the world, Argentina, and different places squeezing the people. You know, this has historically happened. You know, you know, for many many generations. This is the whole reason for Swiss Gold Global 2.0. This is the whole reason, but of, of us transitioning into the cryptocurrency world also, uh, because you know. There's no borders with cryptocurrency. So what would your options be? What would I do if I was in these beautiful parts of the world? And they are beautiful parts of the world, but unfortunately, uh, there's uh, fiscal restrictions placed upon individuals there. You mentioned PASA. Well, PASA operates actually in Nigeria, since you mentioned Nigeria. They actually operate in Nigeria. And um, we've actually paid people on the PASA card there already. So we've paid commissions to a PASA card there, no problem whatsoever. But we're talking about people paying for the packages in that re respect. We know we can push your money, which is absolutely key, uh, but we, know we need to take some money from you as well. So we need to further test this, but open up a PASA account. It's not going to cost you anything. I believe that you can walk into any bank in Nigeria and you can actually fund your PASA account with the cash that you've got there. And once your PASER account is funded, then it's on the wallet, and you can use your wallet to be able to, uh, to buy the products from Swiss Gold Global. Now, PASER, the integration uh, on our platform will not be finished for another, uh, I would say, seven, maximum 10 work days, uh, to give you an idea. It's, it's all approved, but it's the same. It's a third-party compliance that just take, we expected this to be completed last week, but it wasn't, and they do it in their own time. So PASER is one option. The other option, of course, is when the Bitcoin uh, exchange uh, actually it goes live, which will also be later part of next week, uh, you'll be able to, if your Bitcoin wallet, etc., you'll be able to uh, use cryptocurrency to, to actually pay. But maybe PASA uh, is a good option to actually start with Claudia. 
Uh, yes, Bill, thank you so much. Um, and uh, I have some more questions. If, uh, if you could explain again on that slider, please, because um, still this is not clear, because we have three packages which we spoke about. We spoke about we could have um, a package for $30, for $350, and for $1,950. But of course, on the slider, you see those different prices. We could just, uh, again, explain that. Yeah, okay, it is a little bit confusing and we didn't mean to confuse people with this. Uh, Genesis Mining, who is our strategic partner in providing our mining contracts, they primarily sell three contracts, uh, which we showed you. But when we developed this, we wanted to make it more flexible for the people because people want to be able to convert their commissions to, to maybe uh, to compound their rate of return. So the slider means the minimum package that you can actually buy is um, the same as what they offer, which is $30 is 2 terahash or the equivalent of 200 gigahash. That's the smallest package that they actually provide and that's also included in the silver package when people join up for the very first time. That's included in there. So that's $30. But a, pers a person had some commissions there, instead of maybe taking the commissions to be paid out, they want to actually reinvest back into their business to increase the rate of return. We need to give them the, the ability to be more flexible than just three set packages. They can select how much giga hash they want. So they can add anything from $30 or $40 or $50 uh, upwards. Uh, it's actually uh, in, uh, uh, yeah, I think it's in $30 lots actually, uh, that they can actually um, uh, buy more crypto mining. So that's, that's why it was done like that, to create more flexibility, the same as on the gold and silver side, by having the slider. Thank you, Bill. So again, um, uh, that really means that uh, you can purchase any amount of hash power uh, which, which you really want to choose. Yes, from a minimum of $30, 200 giga hash or 2 tera hash, correct. Okay, uh, great. Uh, now, it's another question coming here from Steve. Uh, Steve is asking, if we select option 2 for the wallet, is that a Bitcoin wallet account? Can we change to a different wallet if we want to use another wallet like Exodus uh, as an example. Okay, well it has to be a Bitcoin wallet. Where you generate your Bitcoin wallet can be in various places. We just recommended this particular one uh, for people. We're going to be offering people other sites as well. We just mentioned Zappa where you can generate a, Bit a Bitcoin wallet. Now there may be the, the possibility there's other wallets. Uh, with I mean there's a lot out there of course that you can store your Bitcoin wallet. If that's the case, it will actually work. As long as we can store the Bitcoin, your payment in there, that should actually function. But you will have the functionality also coming out where you can actually change your wallet if need be. Uh, and of course, the question which is also coming is, can I purchase various contracts at the same time or how do I do it? Well, for sure. I mean, really, what are we speaking about here in respect to contracts? We're speaking about single purchases here. Now, when you go to the packages, let me just go to the packages to make this uh, clear. Let me go back to the package, for example. Uh, a package. You just pick any one. It doesn't really matter. Okay, let's just do the, the ambassador package uh, as an example. When you purchase the ambassador package, straight away you have 5,000 giga hash, or 5 terahash, that is the equivalent of, in your... Uh, in your platform. It's already credited to you, that, that particular Bitcoin mining. But you might think, okay, I like, I like the ambassador package, it suits my balance, you generate some commissions and you want to convert that. Well, the thing is you can actually add more mining power. You just go to your My Crypto module and you'll just go here, increase, increase this tab here, increase hash rate, and you can just buy more hash power from as little as $30 up to the, the biggest one, which is 15 terahash where you get the discount. So yes, you, and you could do this multiple times. You might, uh, from your income, you might take 10% of your income and put that towards a bit of hash power. Another month's time, you might buy another small amount of hash power and keep compounding it uh, over a period of time depending on where. Or you can take your commissions that you're actually earning and you'll be able to convert them directly into hash power. Now the commissions right now, the gift certificate, as you can see, is not here right now. It's not very far away. You can pay by credit card, you can pay by bank wire, and very soon you'll be able to take your commissions and you'll be able to convert that to a gift certificate and also be able to buy uh, multiple times uh, whenever you like, of course, further hash power as well.
that is great news because I'm going to do some gift certificates myself, I believe. Uh, but I certainly don't want to sell my gold. Um, and of course, one of the questions um, is also like, could I also to, uh, take my gold um, if I do have some more gold? Um, and if I wanted to buy with my gold this hash power, could I do that? For sure. There's going to be, like all things, even regarding a, a Bitcoin and regarding gold and silver, what you would do, step one, is that you would liquidate your gold or silver. And then it would have to be sold back, wouldn't it? So you would actually go into your account. Um, at least we go to the other browser here. Back, back here. You go to your account uh, to do that. You go to my precious metal account. I've actually been blocked out by the cookie now been timed out. Okay, I won't go there now then. Um, you'd be tight, sorry, what you would do then is go to your My Precious Metal account and you'd actually place a sell order for your gold and silver and um, whatever price that you get, that's the money that we transfer, we credit that to your Easy Wallet if you like or we send it to your nominated bank account or PayPal account or, or, or your Payser account in the future. But you could take that uh, sell, back, sell back proceeds and convert that into, of course, uh, cryptocurrency for sure. That's, that's the whole idea of this, to be a very flexible, liquid platform. And Bill, you just said uh, you have been timed out. And again, I want to just really stress this, this, this issue because this is one of the most frequently asked questions. Is, I got timed out. I can't log in anymore. Um, could you just explain that again because so that people really also train their teams on that? Sure. This little thing here, which I don't like, access denied. Um, none of us like to be rejected. It's, it's just a security issue. So it's like it's been idle for some time, just like when you go to a bank account or some uh, finance institution or brokerage account. For security, and for, for security reasons, they only let you be there uh, for a certain period of time. If it's idle for too long, uh, it's going to log you out automatically, and that's what's happened to me on this occasion. So what you have to do is refresh the browser and log back in and go back to where you were. Uh, and maybe on the odd occasion, Maybe you're going to go and clear your history uh, on the account uh, as well, but generally it should not be a problem. You just log out, uh, restart the browser and log back in and then go to the page where you were. But that's what that means. It just means you've been timed out for security purposes. And another question we have here from Steve. Steve is asking, what's the time frame to add another altcoins to the exchange? Well, that's a great question. We believe um, primarily by the end of next week, the exchange should actually uh, be there. I'm not talking about mining now. Mining is a different issue. We also see the possibility of adding uh, further mining contracts uh, as well. And I'll be meeting with, uh, of course, our mining provider, Genesis Mining in Munich, uh, in a few weeks' time um, to discuss that uh, with our partners there. But uh, right now, the old coins, that, that is certainly going to happen, Steve, but we're going to have to be a little bit patient there. Again, once the exchange, I think it's going to be launched by the end of next week, uh, you'll have the ability to be able to exchange uh, your old coins to uh, bitcoins, etc., and vice versa. So it's going to be very, very flexible. That's that's the whole idea of this concept. But I, I, we're just waiting for uh, the final approvals from compliance. We are approved, but they wanted to see the new website. They wanted to check out the back office, uh, etc. So this this is what takes them the time. And of course, do not further confuse people because they already, I see already, they they had smoking sort of when we say altcoins. Well, what what the Hack our altcoins now. So I know we have some experienced crypto people in here. I understand that. But we also have some totally new. And they were just all learning about Bitcoin. And now we say altcoins. So so we don't want to overwhelm people, of course. Um, you folks, you're just learning about Bitcoin. Great. The people who are already advanced, well, that, that, that's also good. But maybe, maybe Bill, you want to touch on that uh, a little bit. It's a good question, actually. But primarily... Let, let's do a, a comparison here. Let's look at Bitcoin. The, the Bitcoin's the first baby out of the basket. It's really set up the foundation, the platform. That's the biggest one uh, in the world with a market cap of 12 billion or something something in that sort of vicinity, accepted by uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, merchants around the world. And I think there's 10 million uh, plus uh, Bitcoin wallet holders around the world. It's so very, very, very significant. Let's compare that to the US dollar. The US dollar is the reserve currency of the world. and Besides the US dollar, you have all these other basket of currencies, whether it's the Swiss franc, whether it's Romanian lei, whether it's the Australian dollar, you have all these other particular currencies, and pretty much they're reflected off the back, off the back of, let's say, the US dollar. Well, Bitcoin 
in one sense, is the reserve cryptocurrency in one sense, and you've got all these other uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, Monaro and all these other particular ones out there as well, and they have uh, much smaller market caps, uh, also very, very exciting, and some of them have different, uh, that they have their different uh, benefits and, um, you know, the, the cons and pros. Many people may have a basket of cryptocurrencies. I hold a basket of, of uh, fiat currency, for example, Swiss franc, euro, and US dollar, because I work in that type of thing. So I always have three or four, and Australian dollars, three or four bank accounts uh, with different currencies, where you can do the same uh, in the crypto world as well. And, um, you know, some of these uh, alternative coins are very, very exciting, but we'll, we'll bring on some special guests in the near future. We're going to have an educational module as well on cryptocurrency. I certainly need it. Uh, no question about that. I come from the school of I want, I want tangible wealth, something that's real. I used to walk across oil and gas sites. Uh, real estate, you can touch it. Well, cryptocurrency, what is it? So it took a, another mindset, especially being involved in gold and silver, to open up to the, to the, the crypto world. But this is the world we live in today. We're, we're living in a digital world. And they both have their pros and they both have their cons. Um, but that's primarily what an alternative, or the old coin is, it's alternative coins to the Bitcoin. And just one more point on that, Claudia. We only deal with coins which are on the, which are listed on the open exchange, uh, on the which are decentralized system, open source, public uh, public ledger, because uh, there's many things out there which uh, do not uh, fit that particular bill, and I, they may claim to be cryptocurrencies. I, I question that. In fact, some of these companies don't even accept their own coin for payment, so I uh, I, I question their legitimacy legitimacy because of, because of those particular reasons. Uh, and Bill, one more question is coming actually from Bill um, as well. Uh, hi, Bill. Uh, um, and he says, I might have misheard. Can I just clarify the time frame for Genesis Mining to start working after we have made our purchase? Uh, 24 to 48 hours. Now, we've just gone live uh, with these particular packages. I'll come back to you on that, Bill, but I believe primarily um, they will go live we buy the contracts instantly from them. When they activate them, I think it takes one day. But I, I will come back. In fact, all of you need to know that as well. It's a very good question. Um, when we had our discussions, I think they said it was 24 hours. But let me, let me confirm that, but it's relatively quick. Well, and I believe that's it for right now, um, Bill. I don't see any more questions. I mean, I know there are more questions coming all the time. So uh, we're working on, of course, right now. Tell me again, just uh, just quickly. So what's coming out the next uh, the next week, ten days? What's what's going to be on the list? Okay, one thing we haven't touched on is the upgrade packages. On many people in this call, that's a very, very important thing. The, up, the upgrade packages are, are, are very, very important. If you're currently in or a past member, you want to upgrade from a silver package to a higher package, uh, or from a past member where you are, 199, to an annual package, those packages will be coming out uh, later this particular week, the upgrade packages. The next thing we're working on, of course, is Zappo. Zappo is, is really important uh, for many reasons. One is it's an it's a easy place for you to be able to set up your Bitcoin, uh, sorry, your Bitcoin uh, wallet address. Uh, it also gives people the ability to, to get a prepaid card attached to that, so it has multiple multiple purposes there as well. Um, in the next day, probably the next couple of days, you'll see the on the dashboard here, um, this is going to look much nicer uh, than what it is. It's going to be more reportive when it comes to, depending on what hash rate you actually have, what your daily rate of return is and what the dollar value is and that types of things, that will actually appear there uh, as well. Uh, the Payser account, um, you know, if, you're, if you need, just like our good friends in Nigeria and Ghana and different parts of the world and parts of Asia and parts of Eastern Europe, if you're in part, or even Argentina, of course, you're in that part of the world where you're having challenges uh, getting money in or out. The Payser account, um, some countries they're actually blocked. I know they're actually in Nigeria. I haven't checked whether they're in Argentina, but you can actually open an the account there for free. It takes a little bit of time to get KYC approved. Once you're approved, you're in the door, and I've experienced them to be very easy with transactions, very, very, very liquid. Uh, but it takes a couple of weeks. I think it took me a couple of weeks to be approved for my KYC. So you will need government ID. You will need uh, probably proof of address. Now, some parts of the world, I know that's not so easy. Maybe there's different criteria. Uh, for your part of the world, but you'll have to check on that. The easiest way to do that is to go to Payser website uh, and sign up for a free account, and then go to be go to be verified uh, with the KYC, and just just follow what they ask you to do, and 
and uh, that might be uh, one particular way. So that's also going to come out. Uh, the gift certificate, I mentioned that for payment, that will be also in the next couple of days. Uh, let's look at my notes here. Uh, we met with the engineers late, earlier on today. Um, lots of things coming out. Probably the biggest one is really going to be the finalization of the crypto exchange where you can actually be able to buy Bitcoin and altcoins directly and also liquidate them, convert them to uh, gold and silver. Uh, that's, that's really going to be coming out the next 10, maximum probably 14 work days and that, that will be all out. All the approvals will be done and will be live. So we're live. We went live, the, I think it was the first or second of, of uh, November. I would say by the 20th of November, uh, we should be well and truly uh, much more advanced than where we are now. But right now, there's no question about it. You can earn commissions. You can start Bitcoin mining, start getting a rate of return. You can buy gold and silver. Uh, you can get that shipped to you. Um, so much of it's there, but we have a lot more to come, uh, to come out as well. Uh, thank you, Bill. One question from my sisters from uh, the United States. Uh, when are the golden shoes going to come out? Oh, with golden shoes, Clay, it sounds like you've been there. I know you're the shoe person, the shoe queen. Um, maybe I've got to put that question back to you. Now, I know that you, you've been letting some cats out of the basket, haven't you? We've been, we've been uh, investigating uh, different uh, gold products because, as you know, for our new ambassador awards, we're having gold iPhones, gold uh, iPads, uh, also the Rolex for the platinum ambassador. Incidentally, Argo Horais, the refiner that, we, that I've been dealing with since 2008, they actually produce the Rolexes and Philip the Tech. Uh, they do all the gold, uh, the gold production for them. So we may be, I mean, yes, I know you girls would like to have gold-plated shoes. Uh, we're researching it. We need to do some due diligence that we need to test it, but we believe that we can actually achieve it. Uh, maybe it's a bit of a celebrity thing for you, Claudia, and some of the girls there, but um, I don't know whether they'll, whether they'll end up in the shopping cart. But certainly the gold heart, uh, certainly will, as you're, as, you're, as you're aware, I can see on the screen before. Okay, we keep pushing. Um, good. Well, I don't think there's any more questions here right now, so um, maybe you want to go over that uh, calculator again just for last time so people really get it, really understand it, because this is one of the things, again, please uh, explain that calculator again um, so, so that we don't want to make also false uh, claims or anything here. I think Bill lost the audio. That's that's right. I, I, I believe I, 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 he has lost the audio. Let's check me in if he is uh, again on. Okay. Sorry, I was talking to myself. Looks like I was muted. Okay. So where was I? The question was regarding the gigahash power and compared to your daily rate of return. What I was actually saying is, I just want everyone to be aware that there is risk associated with this. I think it's calculated risk. Um, it's not huge risk, but that's a personal thing. We're depending upon where you actually are. If you buy into a share company, buying shares in a company, there's no guarantee the shares are going to, you buy a share at $10 today or $150 today, they're going to go to $300 or if a dividend return of 8% is going to be the same uh, in the next quarter or the second quarter. Things change constantly. Okay. So all of our calculations that I've produced in our um, presentations have been based on the Bitcoin price of $600. Right now, Bitcoin is over $700. But let me just answer your question. If you, if, depending upon your gigahash power, let's just go to um, uh, let's let's go to 10, for example. Let's try to get 10.4. Let's just go to roughly. Let's go to 10 terahash. What you do? Let's go to go to the other browser now. Is it this one? One second. Oh, here. Okay. You go here, of course, let me just refresh it to make sure that um, it's up to date regarding everything. And you wanted to put in, 
let's say 10 terahash. The largest package that we actually offer you is 15 terahash. And we can calculate, and that based on that particular um, Bitcoin price, is going to give you around about uh, $6 to $7 per day. Now that's gross. Now you have to take about half of that out. So that would be $3 a day. So that's going to be around about $1,000 uh, a year in one respect that you would earn uh, from that particular package. If it's the largest package, which is 15 terahash, that's going to give you around about $10.50 a day gross. Let's take 50% out of the cost of operation. Let's say you're making $5 a day. Well, that's $5. Let's do this exactly. Um, that's going to be about $1,800 per year. $1,800 a year where the packages cost you $1,950. It means you're primarily you're getting your money back, let's say, in, in a year. We, we like to say you get your money back in the money packages in about 400 days. Okay? That's the rule of thumb that we're actually working with. Uh, but again, there's many variables there regarding the, the Bitcoin price. But this is, this is based on a, a price of, of $700. The rates of return that I showed you were based on a Bitcoin price of $600. So you can see that the rates of return, especially in the Ambassador and the um, Platinum uh, package, is very significant, up to 30% and more. Now, what you could also do, even if you joined in with a silver package or the the gold package, uh, you can always add more mining power to that as well. You can convert commissions, or the more people that you sponsor and enroll, introduce to Swiss Gold Global, uh, of course, you're getting paid out not just in cash, US dollars, that you can put back into mining power or gold and silver, you're also getting mining power in itself, sent straight to your account. So you're increasing your compound in your mining, which is going to compound, in, compound your daily rate of return, Claudia. Okay, Bill, thank you so much. I believe we have come to the end of this uh, webinar. I don't see any more questions. I know there are going to come more questions, but I think we addressed a lot. So thank you so much for, of course, um, you know, showing us to, uh, what to do, basically. And um, uh, yes, I look forward to some more uh, presentations and trainings. Yes, there's going to be many more coming out, Claudia, and it's important that we keep the questions coming in. Uh, because, uh, you know, in, in one sense, we're still in the beta test phase. There's lots of modules being rolled out, many things that you don't see at the front, but happening behind the scenes. And uh, we don't, we, when we test it and launch it, it's working, but maybe something happens and it, uh, it gets disengaged. So we appreciate your constructive feedback and uh, pushing, it to, uh, pushing all the points to us that we need to look at. That's really, really important. And I just wanted to mention, we'll probably be doing some other webcasts towards the later part of the week on this, because by then we'll have some more modules that... Uh, that are coming out. and uh, But right now, you can actually buy your mining power. You can get started in getting your rate of return paid out on a daily basis. Uh, and Claudia, just one last thing. I know that tomorrow night you're hosting, is it tomorrow night or Wednesday night? Tomorrow night is Wednesday night. Is it Thursday night you're hosting the um, Born Rich program as well? Uh, yes, it's going to be Thursday, and I believe you do have a presentation, opportunity presentation, on Saturday. So um, we, you want to really share those links out there with people and get as many people as possible uh, moving. I know we have, I believe, Dr. Plur on the call. Hello, Dr. Plur. It's so great to have you. Who I loved his presentation on the Trinity of Wealth Creation. Okay, thank you, Claudia. And really, I must apologize to Dr. Blue and the whole team in America. I, I had to go back to Australia for a family, uh, a really unfortunate family issue. I would have loved to have been there in America, but I believe I'm coming out there in January. Uh, so I really look forward to seeing you, Dr. Blue, and, your t and uh, of course, Lachelle, Pastor Lachelle, and uh, the other people out there. So with that, uh, that's from me. I'll say goodnight, everyone from Zurich, and I'll pass this back over to you, Claudia, to finish up. Well, thank you so much, guys. Um, I'm going to post that webinar on our uh, YouTube channel, of course, right now. Uh, so pass this on, pass this to your teammates. Um, they need to go over, they need to learn that, um, you know, as we all have to learn. Thank you so much and have a blessed day. Thank you.